Tis, did you put it on record? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to welcome everybody to tonight's uh, recognition, getting started, learn a little bit more call. And uh, uh, I know most of the people are from the U.S. and Canada. I know that we've got some Canadian pop-ins, some Asian pop-ins. And, uh, but I want to congratulate everybody. Uh, promo that we had over the weekend uh, was it exceptional. We've had, to, we've had to extrapolate some of the numbers because it'll show new orders to me. But, you know, it also is, includes ownership orders from Australia. But the best that I can tell is about 740 new distinct orders. Okay. Uh, and some of that uh, was also people buying three and four because it's true. If you're going to sell shoes, you can't walk around with an empty shoe box. And uh, I think that's important. So we are excited about it because it creates a warm market that we can market to based upon the experience. We've got so many unbelievable before and after pictures. And uh, this is a business about transformation for us. Uh, whether it's skin or weight management or feeling better uh, with the lead and tools that we've got now. So uh, couldn't be more excited. David, you want to pop in at all? Or pipe in I, 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 I'm so excited about what, every, what everything that's going on. And Lonnie, you said it, the, uh, the before and afters are just, uh, are just fantastic. And uh, uh, I want to welcome... Uh, I don't know if you saw uh, Lena Lim on here from Hong Kong, and we've got some people. I was just on the, uh, and uh, I think we've, uh, we have some Aussies, and we have some people from Mexico, so uh, it's, uh, it's a great night tonight, and I see the numbers keep going up, so uh, dog, you're doing a great job. You got people excited. Well, at least you know where to look for the numbers, so you got me beat. <laughs> I, I, just so we don't take everybody's time, uh, let's go ahead. I want to accomplish two things tonight. Number one, uh, talk a little bit about creating a customer warm market, walking them through different product sets uh, to becoming a distributor. And, uh, uh, and then also talk about just meeting new people and building your own market. So we've got two people on this call that will be with us. I want to call Sloan first. And uh, Sloan, if you can uh, pop in, you're gonna you're gonna talk to us a little bit about bridging that gap from warm market to distributor. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, you we can? can hear you. Okay, good, good, awesome. Well, thanks for uh, having me on the call tonight. It is a little bit of a last minute, so bear with me on the story, but. Um, Lonnie wanted to just share, um, and Deb wanted me to share a story that happened to me, uh, I guess it's about three weeks to a month ago now, uh, with a girl that I had, uh, she had been <clears throat> a person that I had gone and got my nails done by. She owns her own little spots, just her. And uh, she, had, she had moved salons, and I hadn't seen her for a while, and it's really, it's really weird, but something was telling me, go, go down to her new salon and just check her out and see what she's up to. And so I went down there, and I made an appointment, and I went to get my nails done by her. And all I was doing was she had known me um, as a new Saturday rep. Um, she didn't kind of ask me what I was up to lately or anything. And so I just started listening to her and asking all kinds of questions about how things were going. And she started talking about her weight. And she said, you know, I've really gained a lot of weight. Um, I had um, a bit of a, a, an operation. And she says, I just haven't been able to rebound. And the scale just keeps going up. And the back of my mind, I'm kind of thinking, how am I going to talk to her about this? But something just told me, don't say anything. Just let her keep talking. And so I, I could have pounced on her, but I thought, no, I'm just going to just, you know, I'm just going to let her keep talking. And so let her keep talking. And um, finally she says to me, I really like your hair. And I'm like, oh, thanks. And I said, uh, I said, you know, it's really weird. And I actually haven't thought about this till now, but I used to have a lot of hair loss. And lately I've been taking this 
this great vitamin program and I hardly been losing my hair. Can you still hear me, honey? Somebody's not. Yep. Okay. And she said, what are you doing? And I'm like, boom, there it is. <laughs> well, I've got this great new, uh, we've joined with this great new company and we have this great man weight management system. And I really wanted to tell you about it when you mentioned your weight. And I said, I really would love to share it with you. And she's like, what is it? What is it? And so I literally said, you know, I have someone you need to talk to because you have been struggling with your weight for a long time. And she's telling me she's a yo-yo dieter and she's tried everything. She goes, you would not believe the people who have asked me to join their company in the last three, four months, their weight loss company. And she says, I haven't said yes to anyone because I've tried so many things and nothing works. And I just am really, really skeptical. And I, she goes, but I really trust you. She says, tell me more. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get someone else on the phone right now that's gone through what you've gone through. And I said, would you mind? And she says, no. I go, well, I'm going to introduce you to my business partner and very good friend, Debbie Schneider, because she's had a lot of issues with weight loss. And I think you'd love her story. So I'm on with Deb. Deb, 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 can you get on the call? So right away, Deb comes on, just happened to work for her. And she tells her story, and this girl, by the end of it, says, like, okay, I want it, I need it, get me some, I, I'm, I'm going to start tomorrow. <laughs> we're like, okay. So that was really what we call someone that we were looking at as a customer. <clears throat> In my mind, I would have prejudged her as a business person. Um, not a business person, she has a business. So I'm thinking in my back of my mind, like I did with Karen Pogue, oh, she's She's too busy. <laughs> she wouldn't be interested in doing this as a business. But um, you know what happened is Deb suggested that we um, that we get on a chat together. So we right away formed a three uh, three three way chat on WhatsApp so that Debbie could help me support her. And that has been literally the magic in this because Debbie has and between the two of us, we've taken her from. Sometimes she's having a, oh my gosh, moment. I'm not sure if I can do this to, oh yes, you can. Anyways, long story short, in three weeks, she'd lost 10 pounds, 20 inches. And she now is sending us chats like, I want to do this. I want to do this. And Jeb, Deb's been gently going, you know, there's a business attached to this too. You know, you might want to take a look at that. And there's a great travel program. She just left for a holiday to Vegas. She's coming on board with the clinical backpack when she gets back this week. Actually, probably the business level. That's what we'll talk to her about. She's ordered and added on more products in the last three weeks. But the last conversation I had with her, she said, you know, I'd really consider selling my business and doing this full time. I would love to do this. This is my passion. And my other passion is I really want to travel. So we've sort of taken her, and I think that's what Lonnie kind of wanted me to share with you tonight. We've taken her from being a warm sort of market, warm market uh, product user to now somebody who's looking at the full potential of this as being a business. And I feel like the how that's worked really well is having that person supporting me, helping support her. And of course, Deb's not afraid to talk to her about the business. Not that I am afraid, but because I'm more close to her, Deb doesn't have sort of that fear whether she says the wrong thing to her or not. And it's been imperative that the three of us are working together. And I mean, that's the same story as with Karen Polk. So it, it works. So, doing things. So you're, you're, you're kind of one of your takeaways is, is that uh, not pressing up, but using the three way. Uh, influence uh, have someone else press it up a little faster. Would you say that's correct? One hundred percent. I actually would have prejudged her just just because I knew she was going on this holiday to Vegas, and you know she talked a little bit about her money situation because she's put a lot of money into her shop. And I would have prejudged her and thought, oh, there's no way she could afford like a big pack. And she told Jeff, oh yeah, I'm, I'm coming in with you know the best pack you have. And I, I want it. So Deb, Deb didn't have a prejudgment about her finances. So that's why it's so great to have another person that can do that with you. 
because I would have. I would have thought, oh, you know, let's just bring her in on a smaller one. <laughs> and Deb's like, no, let's go, right? And so she's been adding the money version and the business in there while we're both supporting her. So it's, it's been really great. I think that's one of the things that doesn't change because we talk about going back and doing basics and stuff. A third party call always works. If you can get somebody else in, because they have a different perspective and they don't judge. It's just, here's the facts. And uh, I think that's very important. And, and Sloan, that's one of the reasons that we focus upon the customer program uh, and have in the past is to create a warm market, to be able to segregate people that are just good product users from people that should be doing the business. And if you got a great experience and you're using somebody else to help you, you're going to be able to flip them. Yeah. And one more thing I want to add. Any on, other takeaways that you had from it? Yeah. One more thing I want to add is I forgot about this, but I believe it was on our second sort of chat. Deb asked her, you know, hey, you, you should come to our meeting tonight. And I wouldn't have invited her because I'd be like, she's so busy. She's working 12 or 14 hour days. It's too soon. But Deb's like, hey, you should come to our meeting tonight. And you know that girl, she literally ran out of her shop, um, showed up at our meeting. She was a little bit late. But again, it's, it's bringing them through the process, right? Bringing them through the, we, I mean, this is literally like textbook. And, and it's, you know, the three-way call to begin with, to introduce her, introducing her to someone else, bringing her to the meeting, letting her see the culture, which she all of a sudden said, oh, man, I could see myself here. And then taking her through the process and then interesting, inviting her even more to do possibly the business. So it's, it's really been textbook and kind of just naturally happened. So you're going to keep doing that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100 percent they were not changing anything Sloan, this is david i i i've got to tell you that uh, you not only followed uh it what it, it was textbook but you did something and it's the first thing that you said you said something told me i we talk about this all the time listen to your intuition Follow your gut and what you did right through that entire process was you and Deb worked such a great team. Everything works for you and it will happen every single time if all of you will do that. Step out of your comfort zone and get back to basic. Use that three-way call. Beautiful job, guys. Just beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you, David. It was fun. And again, now we know it works, so let's just keep doing it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Reach out and grab somebody. That's right. <laughs> Can't touch somebody, touch somebody else. No, no, no. no I no. changed. Oh. I didn't go where you thought I was going. Oh, I okay. want to add one more thing. Um, I, you know, someone might, might, might be thinking, oh, well, you know, not everyone has a Deb, right? But here's the thing. It wasn't, it wasn't just Deb. I could, have, I could have brought a lot of different people in. I just felt that Deb would relate to this girl. So it doesn't necessarily have to be Deb. It doesn't have to be your upline. It's who do you think could relate to this person? And I knew Deb's story would. And I was on a call with some other girls today, and I said I, I totally could have contacted you know anybody depending on that person and what their challenges and what they're going through is deb happened to be the, the right person so i just want no one to say oh well everyone needs deb you know there's a lot of great great people that can can be your third party and and help you with this process so deb's awesome but you know there's a lot of other people too in your business thanks sloan and uh you know i i, I I think that what what she's really communicating is stuff that we all know, but it's that we all don't practice, and uh, and that's that's one of the key things that uh, why I wanted her to tell that story because it still works. Everything that we did when we started the company, it all still works. 
People just have to do it. And, and the next one, I've heard a million times, I've called everybody I know. I don't have a market anymore. I've called everybody. And, you know, I had this discussion one day uh, with Shannon uh, Melnick, and I, I, I wanted her to tell a little bit of her story about, okay, all my people that I know are really in New City, and my life has changed. What am I going to do? Because I need to meet some new people. And uh, so, uh, record girl Tish, can you? Okay, she's unmuted. Okay. Call oh, here, Shannon. Okay, perfect. So thank you guys. But Lonnie wanted me, thank you Lonnie for inviting me to share what's been going on with me in my personal life. But um, this has really changed what's going on with me and my business. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So an amazing story, Sloan. I absolutely love every aspect of it. And I related to every single act of the hair, the products, everything, because it's happening with me too. So I love it. And again, the three-way messaging, you guys, like it's been stellar. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this to death again for you, Sloan, and everybody else that's chatting on the chat, because we do it as well. And we the other thing that we love about the three-way chats is the vo the audio messaging, because you can send someone an audio message and they have to listen. Be nine of the time they actually will listen because they're like, well, what did that person say? So we really want to edify how strongly at, um, and effective that is as a as a building tool. So as you most, most of you know, my life completely changed in January when we went back to Australia. So I was faced with some big decisions in my life. I was faced with, okay, so what do I do now? I have my wonderful team, but I need to find new people. I need to build another team. I need to rebuild my life. I need to do, I, I, my friends were new Saturday friends. And how many of you, you don't need to raise your hand, but I was people, everyone in my life was a new Saturday person. I didn't have any friends outside of new Saturday. So I decided I was going to go find some. So I literally went to every single meetup that I possibly could. And there's a couple key people who do meetups regularly in Calgary. And I just went to, I went to their meetups and I went by myself and I would go by myself and I met, I went and introduced me to the, myself to these influencers. And now I'm in their inner circle. And then I would take um, Nicole Swanson also started coming with me and Nicole start, she's very outgoing. So Nicole and I started going to meetups and, different things like this. And I, I made these amazing new friends who are much like us, who believe in the law of attraction, the secret and things like that. And these girls, and they, they know what I'm doing now, but they're like, well, how do you have that G-Wing? And how do you live in this beautiful condo? And I'm like, oh, I'll tell you some other time. And I would do the takeaway. I didn't talk about how like I didn't tell people what I did. I didn't puke all over them. I did it more like what my dad taught me. Don't talk about it. Make them want to know. And I didn't. And it took a while. Like I've been working on these relationships for three months now. Okay. And um, whenever anyone invites me out, I go. I just say, what do I wear? Because I don't know, like half the time, I don't know what I'm going to. And I also started volunteering. And this is kind of funny because the first time I volunteered for a function, it was a major corporate executive event in Calgary for one of the biggest oil companies in Calgary. And when I volunteer for an event, I just say yes, and I have no idea what I'm saying yes to because you guys know me, I'm not oriented. I just say yes, and I'll figure it out. So I go to this event, and I we're at this big, like probably 30 people sit at this um, boardroom table, and there's these each chair is probably a thousand dollars like the table itself probably cost a hundred thousand dollars it's just huge and it's this amazing boardroom and there's five people in the boardroom and I'm one of them and um, I just say to them like you guys I honestly have no idea what I'm doing here I know I said yes to something but can you please tell me what I'm at because I don't even know what I'm doing here and I think I'm going to where I know that I'm doing something with food and restaurants in Calgary but I have no idea and they're like well you're at one of the big biggest oil companies in Calgary and we've treated all of our 300 employees in our downtown office to the finest restaurants in Calgary five restaurants and we rotate through the restaurants and then we have a big party afterwards and I was I was really embarrassed because I didn't even know this was one of the biggest oil companies in in the in Calgary or probably in the world but it made me real right I, I didn't pretend I was this big fancy person nobody knew you know anything about me I was just a volunteer for all they knew I was like you know had nothing 
And um, so I got to meet all of those corporate executives. I added them all on LinkedIn. I added all the secretaries, all the, um, uh, they have a whole communication staff that worked with us. I added all of them on LinkedIn. And then I actually texted all of, because everyone was so lovely to me and they had no idea who I was. I actually friended out all the corporate executives on LinkedIn and I told them how wonderful their staff was and how wonderful their culture was because they really were good people. And they, their culture in this company was incredible, like nothing, like New Sarity, like nothing I'd ever seen before for a company. And so always paying it forward and telling people good things is one thing I've done. And friending every single person I've met on as many apps as I can, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, I everybody on every app and they see everything I do because I hardly post on Facebook anymore. But um, if as long as I got them on one app, they'll see something I post. OK. Um, and the other thing it, I did was I, I, I got asked to volunteer for something else. I just joined them. And my coach said to me, he sent me an email the day I joined and I, he has no idea I volunteer. And he said, send me an email to volunteer for this event. And I said, yeah, I'll do it. I don't know what I'm, and so I go to the volunteer training for this. And I said, look, you guys, I'm new to Calgary. I've only been here two years and I don't really know what I'm doing here. What am I doing? And this is a, this was a women's um, oh, a cr kind of a CrossFit event. And that was super cool because a lot of the women that were at this event were, who were, were women who were at one time overweight or weren't happy with their weight so they joined this program to lose weight or be more fit or whatever and it was all women and I got to they asked me to be a judge and so I was a judge and I got to write down numbers and I got to and I did it all day and I got to meet all these incredible women and I friend everyone who talked to me I friended them on, on every app again one thing about me which is probably very true for all of you my friends and my my closest friends and my family will never buy product from me and Nicole Swanson we see this with her all the time. Her closest and dearest friends and family never buy product from her. But the random people who I've added on Facebook, who I've added on LinkedIn, who I've added on Instagram, who see what I'm posting about and seeing how positive I am, um, they are already in product from me. Okay. So it's not my closest friends and family. It's the people who are my new friends. And so with all these new friends I have now, it's opened my whole world. Like, like I said, when someone asked me to go do something I just I just go and figure it out right and it's just in, like I have a whole new world of friends that have completely changed my life and opened me up to new friends and now they know what I do because they'll come to my condo like I, I'll say like if they want to like I live downtown Calgary so we kind of meet up at my condo and I have my products out and they try the products or if I go to the gym I have elite with me or the water bottle I kind of have my products everywhere where I go and if you know me I have my backpack and I either have elite or my water bottle with me and people are always asking me what is that or I take my vitamins and people are saying what is that or I make a shake and I'll say do you want to shake and I give them some so it's indirectly um dripping on people con consistently dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping and quite often, if you know me, you know that I'm not a big drinker, but I always, if sometimes I drink, but most of the time I'll bring my water bottle or I'll bring a shake or I'll bring a late and everybody else is drinking and they're like, what are you drinking, Shannon? And so that's how I'm intriguing people. And I, all I can say, you guys, is it's been the best thing for myself and our team and our business to open up new doors for me and meet new people and go to all these meetups and go to all these events. And I've made so many new friends and I can't tell you guys how much it has paid tenfold. And now I'm looking at condos, um, one for myself and one as a rental property. And so I'm opening up more doors to real estate agents and they're always asking, well, how can you afford to do all this? And I just tell them, well, I'm a network marketer. And then they're like, well, what do you do? And what, what's your product? Because everybody, if you're in real estate, you know what network marketing is. And they always ask, what do I do? And so I just tell them. And I, what I always say, it's probably not for you, though. Do the takeaway. My dad taught me that. <laughs> but always remember that a lot of the people, I know when my dad first brought me network marketing 10 years ago, I was like, dad, go fly a kite, right? So remember that people aren't necessarily going to do this on their first trip but it's important to get them on the product and just keep dripping, inviting them, dripping, inviting them. 
um, sharing Facebook posts, Instagram posts, LinkedIn posts, whatever apps you're on, sharing those posts with people because eventually, like they're, I mean, we were just at a birthday party on Saturday night and one guy said, he was a, a, a fitness trainer and he said, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I'm, there's no money in being a fitness trainer and I'm looking for something. And I'm like, well, what's your phone number? <laughs> so the first thing I did is add him to my phone and now we're, we're texting. Right? He still doesn't know. I know he's going to join us, but it's just consistently dripping and, and just being out and being in their face and just always being out and, and with them. And, in, and so the norm and, and it's, it's okay to be her friend, even though she's a network marketer, because she doesn't puke all over everyone. And that's, Jim, that's what's Jim. happened. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you were the first one in New Siri to optimize a position. Mm -hmm. And um, how is this helped you or helped your team uh, of breaking barriers that I don't know people? Well, it ultimately the whole process of what happened in January forced me, I had, had to make a decision. Was I going to step out of my comfort zone to make new friends because I'm super hungry and I wanted this bad. I still do. And I knew that I had to go find different new friends to, to get where I needed to go because I, I, I just had to, it was, it's all about new blood. And I knew that I hadn't worked hard enough to do that in the last five years. I knew I needed to do it now. And it was just like the new company, the new products. I was so, I cannot say enough about these products. Like I am hooked, hook, line, and sinker. I'm obsessed. I'm addicted. I'm passionate about these products. I've never seen products like this in my life. And people, I had someone from a different country message me yesterday about um, our weight loss and say, oh, I've tried everything. And I said, so have I. And then I sent her a whole bunch of all of your pictures, you guys. So um, this, the, our biggest asset is all of your pictures. I know we've all seen weight loss before. And I remember with our first project with weight loss, I think we saw all up to maybe six pictures if we're lucky. Okay. Now we're seeing one or two new pictures a day. Okay. Like Shanna Reevely, I see her on my screen. Like, I mean, her pictures are absolutely game changer. Amazing. So many of you, right? And sharing those pictures, these are real people we know. These are our friends. These are family. These aren't strangers. You know, these are real people that we know. Like Darcy Sockin just shared his the other day. Kathy has one. Sloan had, a, you know, a great, so many of you. These are the people I'm just seeing on the screen right now. But the, your pictures is what's helping everybody see that this is the real deal. And, and it, it's just consistently getting out there and talking to new people. And just because I have new friends now, doesn't mean I stop. I still keep going to meetups to meet because now it's like, Oh, there she is again. Like, how can I keep seeing her at things like, and then I go to at so many events. Now people keep saying to me, like, I see you everywhere. And, and that's helped me because I'm out so much that people just come up to me and say, well, I just, I've seen you three times. Who are you? You know? So it's, if you guys, it's all about us finding new blood and not just one person. Go make 20 new friends and add them to your phone and text them and say, thank you so much for, you know, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for, you know, inviting me to your event or having a party or whatever. But it's just connecting and connecting and connecting and connecting and being relentless and, and you know, just don't stop. It's crazy. And I've got to give a huge shout out to Don and Terry who just flipped um, senior officer because what Dawn did, and I need, I don't know if you guys know this, but she has been a machine to share her slenderized website. I've never seen anything like this. You can see who's, who's sharing the slenderized, any, any of the websites. And Dawn Kidd is a machine at this. She has over 2,800 hits on her slenderized website. I challenge anyone. I don't care if you're a crown diamond or um, a team lead. I challenge anyone to even compare, come close to that. And our whole team of 20,000 people, she's number one at um, 2,800. And then number two is Wayne um, Siemens and his lovely wife, Sandy. And then I was number three at only, like I think I only have close to 300 now. 
but that's huge, you guys, sharing your website, sharing it on your posts on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, getting your yourself noticed, getting sharing the information. When people ask you about the Slender Eyes website, share your web your Slender Eyes website. It's all there. Awesome. Well, Shannon and uh, Sloan, uh, I want to try to stick to the time, but I think these are the things that help all of us. Uh, we want to keep picking out different stories from different people. So even if it's not you, if you know somebody that needs to be heard from, uh, because it doesn't matter what your rank is, if somebody's achieving something, we all want to know. And we all want to know how, how they did it. Because that's how we learn. We learn from doing other people and taking action. And uh, I think it's pretty clear to see in Canada uh, weeks. And it, and it comes from people uh, uh, really going out there and doing the things that both these wonderful women talked about. So, David, any other points or before I tell you, you know, Lonnie, it, off? yeah, absolutely. Love. Can you hear me? Yeah. I just thought you were asleep. <laughs> no, no, I'm, well, no, you see when I'm looking down, I'm on the line here talking to people. Oh, okay. Well, that... Sleeping. Yeah. All right. I'm chat. It's called a chat. Oh, All right. Okay. So it, listen, it's like what we were talking about. You can go back to that same, let me see, I, I tried to clean this up, but I don't think I'm going to. New blood, new company, new products. You want to raise the dead? You want to go back to that same plate of vomit? Or do you want to go outside and meet new people and have fun? Shannon, fantastic. What you are doing, anybody can do, but as you can attest, you got to get out of your comfort zone, folks. And when you do, it will change your life in every way, shape, and form. Thank you so much for sharing that tonight. Great, great stories from everyone. I hope everybody has a great week. You know, we ended up, like I said, with uh, wonderful numbers. And, and now it's the next phase of following up. It's like I bought a 16 pack. I sold six of them. I'm gonna call everybody and ask what their experience is. So if you brought in a new customer, this is the opportunity to call them back and say, after a couple of days, hey, tell me how it's going. What's your experience? Did you take a before? Okay, are you tracking? Are you tra tra tracking? Because that's what we do. You become a relationship partner with that person. So everybody have a fantastic Well, I got one thing to trail on you right there, Lonnie. Okay. Be a coach, okay. be a mentor, and you tell people, don't cheat. Stay with the program. Sorry. Go, dog. Well, now that you brought up cheating and getting that pizza, that's a... Well, you can't uh, do the Everybody pizza. have a... Uh, all right, thanks guys, love you.